Yo, we had to defend against 218 Scarabay and Stranded Alien Dawn. I am really enjoying this game. It's probably one of my favorites that I picked up all year. And I'm finding ways to improve my base every time I pick up the game. If you enjoy the content, you already know what to do. So more of these videos can come out. Two hundred and eighteen. That's probably like the biggest aggressive animal attack I've faced. Luckily, it's the little ones, and it's not the ones that explode. But uh, so I faced the ones that explode before. No spoils. <laughs> Listen, they do a lot of collateral damage. Uh, I'm trying to see if I got anybody else outside. Hmm, I don't think I do. All right, well, we'll just have one posted up in the front. A couple of them posted up in the front. One with long range. One by the gate too, so just in case they do break that wall down, which would be kind of hard for them, but maybe not since it's 218, you can just close the gate. Um, see how this works. Uh, oh, oh shit. Okay. So in order to turn it on and off, we gotta have somebody stationed up there. And I'm trying to debate if I want to put this person inside the the guard tower. So unfortunately I kind of do, like I got to do a lot of setting up before the, the wave hits because it's not like these guys automatically get in a specific positions, man. Like they'll be, walk, they'll try to like walk outside and shit, bro. As soon as you start getting attacked, they'll try to walk outside and they'll just get killed. Okay. They're blowing up. I put some mines along that side. All right. And I'll try to stop them a little bit before they get in here. But again, hopefully this doesn't do anything to my walls. Pause. Oh, eh, it's doing a little damage, a little, a little damage. Taking a couple of them out. Yeah, see, it is doing, it is doing a little damage to my walls though. Damn. Okay, so I'm gonna have to set this a little bit further out, um, in the future so it doesn't do that. I gotta keep my uh, integrity up on the walls. I just don't know where I'm gonna build that bitch at. Move a couple of people around here. Let's put this person over here. It's because uh, she's got that. She's got that sniper. I don't even know if there's gonna be able to. Uh, two people are gonna be able to get up there. Okay, now they're running into. Look at that mortar doing wonders. Look at that. That's melting them, bro. The flamethrowers for the win. It is melting them. I'm gonna extend it out, and I'm gonna have uh, a flamethrower on each side, so it does double the damage on whoever comes through. Look at that. Look at that. Crazy. Crazy. Go ahead and move him back. Uh, yeah, she's not going to be able to get up in the tower. Two people can't get in that tower. Nah, she's not. Okay, well, uh. I guess we'll move her over here since she's got long range weapons. She'll still be able to, uh. Get some shots off, but man, look at them flamethrowers doing damage. The mortars coming in from the top. Crazy stuff. Look at this and barely any left. When I tell you this is one of the most enjoyable survival city builder games that I've played recently, man. Uh, this is definitely worth your money and it doesn't cost you a lot, so. I'm having a blast on this. Uh, oh, look at that. And that was a quick cleanup. I'm going to have to, uh, like I said, rework the mortars. Uh, we got a couple of stragglers left. I got to figure out where they're at. Oh, there they are. See if some are stuck on the traps, because sometimes when they're stuck on the traps, they'll, uh, they'll be kind of like knocked out. 
but they won't be uh, you can go ahead and turn that off now have the crew do the cleanup um yeah some of them will be knocked out but i mean they won't actually be dead oh there it is barbecue what should i say barbecue chicken though and we got a couple here too kind of just let the thing just do what it does you see and also too how to get this thing to work um better how to how to kind of control the the hordes is you got to have a door open they're going to try to take it's just like seven days to die if anybody's played seven days to die they're going to take the shortest route to get into your base so you can kind of maze it up kind of like how i did here unfortunately i picked a, a bad spot because i can't build out a little bit further but yeah you can maze it up and um kind of route them where you need them to be routed and we only got we really don't have too much left at all but there they've turned their focus from uh attacking my base to uh attacking that animal that they slaughtered out there listen as long as it's not my livestock i'm cool with it here we go let's go and that was the end of the 218 defense.